Hey guys, we're back. It is 2022 and our early goose season is starting in like two days. Um, you know, I'm in school right now, so won't be, we won't be able to get out on the first or the second, but this, this Saturday, um, we're going to get out, um, a couple of guys from school, we're going to go out. Uh, but the last couple of weeks I've been working on my trailer here. I got it about 95% done. So I'm going to kind of show you what we got going on. So let's get into it. All right, so here's the outside. Um, you know, I've had the pods on for a while. I got two on the right and two on the left, one on the back, and then a couple on the inside. Finally just got them all wired up, so that should be nice um, for those early mornings when you get in there when it's dark out. Uh, starting out, you know, I got my um, holder for my waders here. Got the light switch up there. I gotta kind of figure out something to do with the wiring, kind of tuck it away nice and neat. Um, but for us right now, we got kind of most of my floaters sitting here, just hanging from carabiners up on the off the roof. And um, I don't know. I want to do something, some kind of way to connect them all together and connect them to the side of the wall. That way they're not flopping around when you're driving. Um, and then on this side, I know I built kind of a bench. I got you know deep um, some silhouettes here. Got my A-frame. Um, Panel blind, layout blind, and then uh, for my dog that I just got uh, back in March, I've been kind of working with her. Um, and then also underneath, you can kind of slide in, slide in your kayak and whatnot, so it's out of the way. Um, but yeah, this is kind of the setup we got for the lights. Turn it on, it's, it helps even right now, it's getting kind of later out. Um, but then we got put up a little setup right here for all the all the stakes and everything that you need for all your spinners and whatnot. Um, as I said, you know, we got uh, the frame there, all this stuff. I set up kind of a ratchet strap system so they're not flying around when I'm driving. Um, yeah, and then we got our spare tire. I want to set up something different with that so it's bolted down, not rolling everywhere. Uh, I got a couple full bodies. Some more floaters down there, Avions, and then some of those I won from a DU banquet. Um, you know, I got all my got all my shells in here, uh, BB and then three shot, extra batteries. Got a, a hedge trimmer. I think that's going to be uh, really nice for cutting grass and putting it in your blind for those big panel blinds and, and A frames and whatnot. Um, I kind of just for right now, I got a couple extra. A uh, blind bag, so I just kind of keep my spinners and the pulsator and stuff in there so that way they don't get all scratched up. Um, within battery here, and you know, it powers all the lights and whatnot. I'm working on going to be wiring in a solar panel so that way I don't really have to worry about the battery ever dying or nothing like that. And then just some other random like dog training stuff, marsh seats, some more floater teals. Uh, and then I just kind of got some clothing stuff up here, another flapper. Um, but so far, that's about it. And then I also forgot to mention too, um, when I first bought this trailer, I, kind of, I took it to the local body shop and they just um, blasted the whole bottom of it about a foot up or so. Um, but it's kind of spray and bed liner stuff so I don't really have to worry about water and moisture and stuff like that. But uh, we'll do another quick, quick walk around just to kind of show you everything and pull what we got going on. But yeah, so this is what I got so far. I spent the last couple weeks putting in all the shelves, getting all the electrical ho hooked up. Um, okay. I haven't pulled it around yet to see how she handles with all the stuff in there or kind of see what all the stuff is, what it does when it's not secure or whatnot. So a um, little bit of a learning curve and we'll see what happens once we start using it. But I'm sure we'll change some things around. I'm kind of curious, you get, what do you guys have for trailers and what do you kind of have your setup for? I like to do both duck and goose hunting, so kind of mix and match between different stuff. I know a lot of people like trailers for just strictly geese and all their decoys and whatnot, but 
more of a dual purpose trailer for me and I still got some extra room in the middle if I want to do something with that but uh, let me know what you think and we're um, looking, looking forward to get the season started and hopefully killing some geese so